Hello, oh, welcome back to the Long Reach. We're gonna left off of uh, being chased by this stupid zombie dude. I looked at a fucking walkthrough, and apparently I was doing exactly what I needed to fucking do, but the AI didn't do what was meant to happen. I'm supposed to give it more interest, so let's let's do exactly what I was fucking doing. You're supposed to have it so he chases you in the room. You go in the locker, but when I was watching the walkthrough, get the fuck over here. Come on. Yeah, this one. When I was watching the walkthrough, apparently the dude, uh... He just sort of like... Yeah, like, come on. I'm supposed to make him re-chase me after this, and then re-run in the locker. So let's try again. Come on. Come on! Attack him! It's a, it needs to be a specific color, maybe. Maybe it's like I read the... Maybe it's like it needs... Let's try red. Does it need to be red, you asshole? Come on! Red! It's because it was red! Okay, that's why the color was important. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, jeez. No way I'm letting this like go. Oh, fuck. Alright. Well... Oh, okay, we're, we're, we're just gonna run. We're, we're, no. It, can he smash it? Okay. So apparently that was all I needed to do. Ugh. And, uh, oh, okay, so it needed to be red. I must have maybe missed something where red is a special color, like... What? Squeak? Squeak! Squeak, squeak. Squeaky... <coughs> Barked at the same time. Squeaky floor, weird. Uh, anything here? Kitchen? Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Ooh. You can cook us, uh, some food. Maybe some craft dinner. Oh, took it. Flashlight! Finally, indeed. Nothing else. Don't fall into the hole. We won't fix pipes and freezers downstairs. You fall in the hole. Try walking uh, a couple of paces around the hole. Is that where the squeaky floor is? Oh, coffee? Nice. Good time for me to drink some. I didn't get any coffee. What happened? There's just something interactive. Alright. I have no idea. Um... Is, is that it? That... It was supposed to be a Christmas party. I wonder what this syringe is for. Who the hell doesn't do wash the dishes? Uh, Not gonna look at myself, but okay. We got a flashlight, so now we can see shit. Oh. Let's do that. I'm going to assume that with the flashlight, items will illuminate where otherwise it wouldn't have. So the two rooms would be uh, over here in the storage room downstairs. Let's go here first. What made this noise? Please stop. Power! So what made that fucking noise and why did it make Stuart say, please stop? Please stop tormenting me! Ooh, what is this? Keys! Fridge room keys. Nice, nice. Fresh air. Can I crawl in it? Just fresh air. Mmm, fresh air. Supposedly. NS-68. Who the fuck knows what that is? Ah, uh, Shelly. Alice went crazy. Something is, like, super wrong. She repeats the same thing over and over, and it's like she she's petting an invisible dog. We were talking Finnish. Oh. Per the experiment, and now she's like a catatonic or something. Does she have a dog? What does it matter? It an it, ma it matters. Answer, please. She got a puppy recently. Okay, come down. It's the past, so we're in the clear. If she goes on per uh, repeating one part ha particular happy moment, then sh this is a debug mode. You have to inject her with NSFW34 serum to get her out of the state. There are several distress messages across this institution, so our stock might be dis depleted. NS68, which I just got, and FW3 combined makes it. So I need to find FW3. Should be on one of the freeze. Oh, the fridge room. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Don't worry, the stay is intended as a safety measure. If she had seen something that wasn't there, never was in her life, or wasn't a pleasant memory, she should have been restrained. If she does see this, please contact me at once. Okay, so... Apparently, happy states are a debug mode in this kind of, uh, strange... 
Wait, I'm seeing it? I'm, I'm seeing what you're seeing? Well, that's a little strange. I'm... I'm seeing what this person's seeing? There you go, boy. So I'm a boy now? Do I look like a boy... Beard Alice? Beard Alice? Yes, you are a good boy. I'm a good boy. <clears throat> Remember, I'm a good boy. A good circle. Uh, are you okay? Cut the shit. Thank you, finally. <laughs> this is your new home. The fuck? Yes, it is. Don't worry, you'll pick it up. Aw, oh, you're so cute. Let me take you off the hardwood. Don't worry, your paws won't slide on the couch. You think I'm a dog? This is where you live now. I'm Alice in your jacket. Short for full fluffy jacket. There you go, boy. You're a good boy. This is your new home. Ah, at least you're friendly. So, okay, we're gonna try to cure her then. Though that might be something that'll cause different endings. Like, what if... Um, Shelly is infected, but she doesn't have anything hostile about her. We won't know, really. We know she's pleasant and fine, so she should take the serum. But the question is, what if you save it for someone else? Because I don't know... Because it tells you in the notes, restrain the ones that are aggressive, because that's something that's not part of the debug mode, while the combination of the chemicals would otherwise cure those that are still in the friendly state. But I don't know about a formula for the aggressive types. Because even though we were talking to Shelly before and she said she didn't think of a... Uh, of a way of curing or predicting this would happen, but they have a formula to predict the outcome of if you are in a debug mode, yet not in a disaster mode? Why couldn't she thought of both preparations when we were talking to her on the phone? It's kind of strange. Um, outside of that, we're just gonna go in the elevator and go into the fridge room and get- and hopefully, hopefully find the FW32, was it? S something like that? Uh, that was B1. There's also the storage room we can go into, which I haven't yet. Actually, wait. This isn't going- this isn't the wrong direction, but this is where the storage room is anyways. So let's check it out while we're here. Ooh. Mannequins? Oh. Uh, sup? Are, are you sane? Josh, you're alive! Is she okay, Josh? Shh, get off. Stop speaking Swedish. Is that is it gonna say now? Okay, dude, what the shit? She killed her. She killed herself, and so will you. You'll kill yourself! Eh. Maybe. Maybe. No, I won't. You'll slit your veins! I won't. You'll stick your head in the oven! That's not how it works. There's a safety mechanism, so it won't kill me. Unless, like, the only thing you could do is, like, microwave where you turn it on and you smash the front glass. You'll find a shotgun in Kobe! Oh, okay, it's not too early for that, but <laughs> you'll Cobain yourself. Oh, God. Rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. Shut the fuck up. Oh, snap out of it. Apparently I was seeing shit. Fuck, you're crazy, too. Thank you, Shelly. If you can hear me, mm -hmm. you have to hold it together. Mm-hmm. Okay, go on. No. Oh, this whole entire room was just for this cutscene alone. There's nothing else here. Strange. Fucking Kobe myself, Jesus Christ. Oh. I, I, I don't know, it's just his, uh... It's like, it's like Princess Diana jokes. I find them really funny. Um... Dark humor dark humor. Let's just go with that. Oh. What? 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 Wait. What? What is it? What? I entered the third dimension. What was that? Um, Stuart going crazy equals going to the third dimension. It made me think of Spooky's House of Jump Scares for a moment there. Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that about? 
Wait, there we go. It's a fuse box. This the whole fuse box is just for the fridges. What else do we have? Flashlight and... Okay, yeah. Magnetically locked. I'm not gonna do cold puns. That is very good. What the fuck is that noise? I should chill. You just... You said you weren't gonna do cold puns, and then you started doing cold puns. Bound by cold-blooded magnets. Red... Red rag. Red rag. I'm supposed to use this on someone? Big bull, big bull, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? A rag. The fuck would I need a rag for? Huh. Oh, wait. Red played. Sorry, plaid. So wait, now I have two items to come. The fuck do I need two red-related fabrics now for? Hmm. Good thing I, I went back to the storage room just to see if I missed anything. Apparently, I did! Apparently I can hide under the table in the kitchen. I'm not sure if it's gonna be relative anytime soon, but... I wanna know if I need to soak this with, say, hot water for the frozen area. Oh, this is... Oh! Um, oh. Oh. Thank god lights didn't go out all over the place. Freezer should be open now? Really? Alright, who'd have thought? But hey, I, I made it work. Whatever. Can't complain. Okay, it's awfully, uh... This is fried. The fridges should be open now. Alright. What's in each of them? These are drug... These drugs are numbered. Uh-huh. This is the one Shelly wrote about. Why the hell there is FW3? Okay, so there's multiple. We must keep some strong shit in here, but if I get some of those numbered ones, I might get a laxative or worse. I guess they are numbered so that only the right guys can find the right one. There's FW in all of them? I'm gonna have to mix them in the mixer then in the uh, Shelly's room with the telephone. That's for sure. So now we're going back the fuck up. Oh, I mean... Yeah, back the fuck up. We're on the bottom floor right now. Alright. Just like a smoothie. Next. And syringe it. No! The letter said inject. How do we inject things? There we go. Wait, did they take that friendly fire? Can I make, really make a smoothie in this thing? Well, probably not, no. I'm going to presume I'm going to need the help of the female, um... She's probably who I need to help in order to progress the game, so it's not like there's multiple endings where I don't inject it in her, but I'm meant to help her. So here you go, buddy. She looks less happy. Jacket, where did he go? Uh-oh. What does that mean? Stu? It's me, you're okay. No, it's your dog. Where's Jacket? Who took Jacket? Alice, do you have clearance to the security room? I have clearance, I'll give it to you. Is this why you took Jacket? Uh... Hmm... There is no dog here. They took him. Why is it so dark? Oh god, they are here, I must hide. Help me hide, Stu. From who? Can't you see them? Those hoods with nothing under them. The floating desk that sucks everything out of you. They see me, they hear me, they smell me. It was just a book, just a book. How can they be real? Shit, what helped them? I need to hide or they'll find me. They'll suck my soul out. Here you go, have a blanket. This cloak, I can't see me in it. This was just a nightmare, right? Holy shit, a fixed one! It was. What happened to Stan? My Stan? My Stan? Long hair, hipster pants. Uh, he thinks he's a dog. A violent one? So far, he's the nicest one I've met. Jack, my lab partner? Tall one, kind of rude. 
Uh, I see him in the hall. He killed uh, Estevez. Oh, the one I locked up in the pharmacy? For real? Uh, I seen the body and he tried to get me too. He tried to kill me, so I locked him in the pharmacy. Poor Jack. He's a good man, actually. I believe you. Alice, Shelly said I need to get into the security room, but I don't have the clearance. Yep, we already went over that, though. I have clearance, let's do it. Good news, finally! What was that? Oh, fuck, he's here. Hey, how do you get the fuck out? Not again, Alice. Uh-oh. Behind you, it's Jack! Oh, God, he's covered in blood. We need to hide. Under the desk! No, um, uh, like, I wouldn't... Um... Hi. Oh, and the vents. Huh. Die hard? And, and I guess a good reference, an achievement. Uh, she better not fucking die. Did she give me clearance? Hello? Oh. Oh, great. I'm I'm being I'm being licked awake by a fucking soy boy. Okay. Fucking hipsters and their weird fucking fetishes. I do not have clearance. I better not find her body when I go back to see her. Oh, fuck. Weird rash. Shelly, I have this weird rash on my leg. Could you look at it? I'm not that kind of Dr. Meg. But it grows, like, in real time. Maxwell's an asshole. Can you come over? I'm cooking the dumplings you like. Real time? Shelly, I have an eye on my thigh. What? Oh, fuck, I can see through them. Shelly, what the shit are we studying here? I mean, I can see the panties I have on without undressing or mirrors. I'm coming over. This isn't funny. Okay. Are these dumplings? Kettles aren't cook- Kettles aren't for cooking dumplings! Okay, we can't take the dumplings. We can take Stan's key, though. Uh, let's see. This is labeled useless. You gotta admire our admin skills at rearranging wires. I mean, that is true. Porn. Okay. Beep. What, beep? Wait, what? What was the beep for? What was the beeping for? Weird. Alright, where's the dog? Dog? Stan? You okay? Buddy? I hear him grunting around here. I, I hear the breathing. Are you hiding in here? No? Where the fuck do you go, then? Whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it here. Uh, good time to end it, probably. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and you look forward to more of The Long Reach. If you are, and you will, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. <clears throat>